My name is Jean-Louis Gerard. My restaurant is Restaurant Jean-Louis in Greenwich, Connecticut. What I want to do with this show is actually uh, demystify a little bit French cuisine, make it uh, simple, make it something that you can understand, and uh, something that you want to do. Something that you say, oh, I'm going to cook French. And it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, uh, we are going to show techniques uh, that are sometimes uh, uh, new, new ways of looking at things. Potatoes au gratin with no cheese in it. Chocolate mousse with only chocolate and egg whites because you don't need anything else in it. And this is still French food. It's very friendly and it's something that you, at the end of the day, you will want to try and say, hey, I can do that. I can do it. Bonjour, I'm Jean-Louis from restaurant Jean-Louis. We are going to do uh, a recipe which is really one of my favorite. We are going to do a quenelle of volaille. This is a very complicated recipe, at least it sounds very complicated. What it is in fact is basically a chicken mousse. We are going to start with breast of chicken, no skin of course. We put salt and pepper to season it. All right. We are going to put that straight in the processor. Now, we are going to add the cream, and this is the secret of the quenelle. It's the same amount of cream and chicken, but it's emulsified together so that it sticks. We are going to add the cream very slowly so that it emulsifies very slowly, all right? All right, look at the texture. Okay, you see it now? This is chicken and cream, equal, equal amount, right? And now it's starting to, to stick together, to glue together, all right? And this is what we want. We are going to pipe this quenelle, or this chicken mousse, if you like, right into boneless quails, just like that. And we are going to form them a little bit so that they look pretty. We want to tie the wings back, okay? so that when it cooks, the breasts are actually going to go up like that. When we are finished with that, we take a little tie like that, and we just tie the legs so that the canal doesn't get out. All right, so we have the four birds of our stuff now. We are going to move to the stove, and here we are going to put them a little bit of butter at the bottom so that they don't stick. Okay, and then we are going to put them breast up, lay them like this, We are going to brush the babies with melted butter and then in we go in the oven. Broiler is better because we want to have a nice, at the beginning of the cooking, we want the skin to right away sear and uh, keep all this smooth inside and all the juices inside. All right, so we have some that I already made earlier. And so you see, they are nice and brown on top, okay? Don't hesitate to give them a good color, all right? And then they have to be firm, firm, firm to the touch, okay? We are going to remove them and let them sit a little bit. All right, so we are going to deglaze our pan with chicken juice, all right? So chicken juice, same thing. If you have time to make the chicken juice, perfect. Otherwise, Hey, you know what? Just get it at the, at the supermarket and don't tell anybody. We want to have all the little taste and all the little drippings that are sticking to the bottom of the pan are now going to be in the sauce, all right? We have our reduce juice, which is a deglazing of the pan, right? We are going to put that straight in the processor. And we are going to do an emulsion. So an emulsion is a combination of something we do not mix together. So in our case, a liquid and a fat. And the fat is foie gras. Put them both together. And what's going to make it stick is the whipping action. The air that we are going to add in it is going to make it stick. We take the quail, we cut it in half, lengthways like this, okay? We dress it up, making sure that Looks pretty, and voila, the quail. So you see the bird, you see the canal inside, you see the juice dripping. <laughs> this is just magnificent. And there we go, perfect emulsion. 
simple, hein? Et voilà, boneless quail stuffed with poultry kernel with an emulsion of foie gras and natural juice. And remember, the kernel, it's very easy, it's a little bit advanced, but if you follow the technique, it's quite all right. Don't be afraid of the emulsion. It's easy to do and uh, a good machine and you're all set with that, okay? So, voila. On the quail, what we did is we completely demystified the kernel recipe. Kernel recipe, you see that in a lot of classical books and uh, it's, it's usually the recipe with a page and a half long and you're just like, ah, I'm not going to touch that. And I show you today that with, with modern techniques and with the proper uh, temperature, the proper equipment, you can make a kernel actually pretty easily and, uh, and you're looking at it and say, wow, yeah, I can do that. It's like a painter. Uh, the color red is already existing, right? Everybody has red in their palette, but you can, you can have a, 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 your own interpretation of a red color, okay? So food is the same thing. The, the dish, most of the dish already exists, but you are going to take this dish and, and twist it light, slightly so that it becomes yours. It has your personality. It is part of the, uh, of the duties of a, of a maître cuisinier to pass the recipes to the next generation uh, so that there is always the kids coming behind us will be already trained. The same way I was trained by Francois Bise and by Guy Savoy, I am now training chefs uh, for the future. Just starting to melt my chocolate here for my grandmother's chocolate mousse. We are not putting any cream in it. And there is no egg yolk and there is no butter. What we have is incredibly pure chocolate, very high quality and pasteurized egg whites. So here we go. Egg whites. We are starting for a few seconds, high speed, and after that we are going to go gradually, okay? All right, so egg whites, pinch of salt in it, and no sugar, okay? We are going to whip them up. At the end, we put the sugar and to turn it into a meringue, okay? We are about half the way up now. We are going to add one cup of sugar very slowly, and we continue beating up the meringue. All right, so we are all set with those egg whites. See how nice they are. Nice peak, huh? And now we are going to incorporate just a little bit at the beginning, okay? We are going to whisk that. We are adding egg white to it, and the chocolate really doesn't appreciate that, or it wants to block, right? So that's why we are whisking a little bit at the beginning and then we are adding the rest of the egg whites and now we are going to fold. We are going to fold it so that the egg whites do not break too much, okay? We want the fluffiness, we want a little bit of, a, of volume on that, so this is why we are delicate and folding nice and easy. And off we go in the fridge until tomorrow. And now we are going to serve it. So, to serve it, we are going to spoon it. You want to do one turn, don't come back to it, and boom. Very clean, very simple. You want to make sure that you go down, roll, up. Presentation. Et voilà. Chocolate mousse is a recipe that is very demanding, and you see it in a uh, in lot of books. And it's always uh, complex, it's always uh, buttery, there is always tons of whipped cream in it. And it's just like, I don't think I want to do that because the reason is very simple. It's the end of the dinner, you don't want to have an, an extra cup of butter in your body and, uh, and uh, all the heavy cream. So what we did with that, is that we took incredibly pure chocolate, right? And then very simply emulsify it fold it into a meringue so that you have a dessert which is incredibly light but satisfying because you taste the chocolate, you don't taste the butter, you don't taste the eggs, you don't, don't taste anything. It's just pure chocolate. All right, I'm Jean-Louis from Restaurant Jean-Louis. Come and visit me at Restaurant Jean-Louis in Greenwich or on the web at restaurantjeanlouis.com.